We certainly want to remember men and women and children everywhere that the Lord will continue to save and add to the church daily such as should be saved, and that we be found doing his most perfect will, and we continue to have a burden for souls to see them to want to come in and get transformed and receive what we have, amen, salvation and deliverance. And let us pray. Uh, for those that oppose themselves and seem to be in a, walk in a seem right way, as the scripture says. And uh, let us pray for those that are sick and afflicted. Let us pray for uh, those that are going through in their bodies, both spiritual, physical, and emotional. And also those that uh, pray for the, the dying world uh, as a whole. Thank you, Lord, that the, the light of Christ will be shown. I uh, pray for our success of our Bible study on tonight. That something be said and done to encourage us, to inspire our hearts, to continue on. Amen. In Jesus' name. Any other prayer requests? Marilyn. Let us remember Marilyn in a special way. Marilyn Higginbottom, that the Lord will bless her, touch her mind, and her spirit. Yes. I didn't answer her phone, so I don't know if she's okay or not. Amen. So we'll pray uh, that the Lord will bless her. Pray for all the people that aren't here. Yes, absolutely. Thank you. That's the truth. We should have more people here. Yes. Pray for them in Ukraine. Pray for them in Ukraine. Amen. Oh, yeah. Pray for them in a, in, a great, in a grand way. Thank you, Jesus. All right. Well, let every heart pray. Oh, gracious Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we certainly thank you and praise you for your grace, your mercy, your love, and your kindness. We ask you, Lord, that you bless our hearts and our minds and our spirit, that we'll be able to cleave to you with a purpose in heart. Remember each and every request that's been made known. And Lord, we ask you to bless by your power, by your might, and by through your Holy Ghost anointing. Bless our service on today. And Lord, we ask you to have your way. Remember the members and the visitors of Christian ministries. We ask you, Lord, that you save and add to the church daily, such as should be saved according to your will, according to your riches and glory, by Christ Jesus. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. 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 <laughs> amen. Thank you, Lord. We certainly praise God and thank God for all that he is doing and that all that he has done. Amen. amen. Thank you, Lord. I'm, I'm excited because I realized if it had not been for the Lord on our side. Amen. There's no telling where we would be, but I'm sure we'd be in a no good place. <laughs> but because he's on our side, amen, because he's on our side, we are here today in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you. Lord. Have a mind uh, to run on. So I want to uh, invite your attention over to the uh, book of Corinthians, uh, 1 Corinthians, 
chapter number one. And the Corinthian church itself was a church that had its issues and had its problems. And I like the fact that God does not hide issues or hide problems, you know, that, that his people experience. And one reason for that is, is so that we may learn, amen, so that we may learn and so that we may see uh, that, you know, that these things are common among men, common among women, common among churches. And I like the fact that um, that we are body. We're called the body of Christ, and we represent uh, Christ, and we represent as a whole the kingdom of heaven. So I want to uh, our reader to begin reading at uh, verse number one, First Corinthians. Chapter number one and verse number one. Paul, called to be an apostle of Jesus Christ mm -hmm. through the will of God, and Sosthenes, our brother. All right, so Paul is the author of this particular epistle, and uh, he's, he's stating his apostleship, uh, which represents his, his authority. He has a message, and he's been sent by uh, God and uh, through uh, Jesus Christ, and he's with one of his brethren by the name of Sosthenes. All right, read. Unto the church of God, which is at Corinth, uh -huh. to them that are sanctified in Christ Jesus, uh -huh. called to be saints, yes. with all that in every place call upon the name of Jesus Christ our Lord, both theirs and ours. Now, now I, I love Paul's introduction. And the reason why I love it is because if you if you searched out uh, the history of the Corinthian church, uh, they had their issues, they had their problems, you know, and they were going through a great ordeal. And they lived in a time wherein uh, there was a lot of lawlessness and a lot of things that were going on in and outside of the church, in their communities as well as in the church. And notice how Paul addresses them. He says, read that verse 2 again. Unto the church of God, which uh, is at Corinth. So now he's addressing them as the church of God. You know, you belong to the Lord. You know, if you're looking for a perfect church down here, uh, you won't find it as far as the physical. You know, uh, and uh, in the body of Christ, the body of Christ is perfect. Amen? Thank you, Lord. So he, he refers to it as the church of God, which is at Corinth. So he's talking about the group that is at, the, uh, at Corinth. Amen? And notice how he describes it. To them that are sanctified in Christ, them that are set apart, set apart. Their lives have been set apart in Christ. They have dedicated themselves to serving the Lord. Amen? In Christ Jesus. Notice then, they have a calling upon their lives. They're called to be saints. Amen? The saints of the living God. Amen? Uh, and that's us. You know, we, we, we are in the body of Christ and we've been called to be saints. Amen? That's our calling. That's our calling that is upon our lives. And one writer said, make your calling an election, what? Sure. sure. Amen? Thank you, Lord. So he says to the saints, uh, you are called to be saints with all them in every place that call upon the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord, both theirs and ours. Now, notice, Paul, you know, this particular epistle was written to the Corinthian church, but he broadens the scope you know, to literally uh, all churches that are in Christ. Amen? And then he says, uh, both theirs and ours. He's referring to both Jews 
and uh, non-Jews, uh, and and there was a, a lot of a lot of a lot of schism and a lot of problem that the early church had accepting uh, uh, non-Jewish people, uh, and Paul uh, so much the fact that God sent Paul to the Jews, I mean to the non-Jews, to be an ambassador. Amen. To bring them into the body of Christ. Uh, and, and, and you know, even, even Paul had to straighten out Peter at one time, uh, who uh, were uh, fellowshipping at one time. And uh, uh, in my, my sanctified mind, I see him at a, at a little banquet hall, fellowshipping with the Gentiles. And then here come the, the Jewish delegate in. And then Peter sees them down the hall and he separates himself. Uh, and then Paul, he catches it. He said, uh-uh, no, no, come here, Peter. Come here, come here, come here. Uh, and, and he said, I withstood him to the face. Uh, caught him right there in the act. Uh, you know how you do children sometimes? You can't delay the punishment. You gotta, you gotta get them quick. Uh, and, and Paul got, <laughs> Paul got Peter quick. Amen. And said, hey, how is it that you being a Jew uh, 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 are acting uh, a certain way and when the Gentiles come in, you act another way? Uh, and, and, and basically he was saying, you're causing a division uh, amongst the brethren. Uh, and Paul said, uh-uh, no, you can't do that. Uh, you got to be the same. You got to be like Christ. The same today, yesterday, and what? Forever. Amen. You gotta be the same. Thank you, Lord. There's no, 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 no schism or division. Amen. So, so we see here then, uh, verse number three. What's it say? Grace be unto you. Uh huh. And peace from God our Father. Yes. And from the Lord Jesus Christ. So he, he's introducing. He says, "Grace be unto you, and peace from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ." All right, so verse number four. I thank my God always on your behalf. We're in 1 Corinthians chapter number one and verse number four. All right. I thank my God always on your behalf. Yes. For the grace of God which is given by Jesus, you by Jesus Christ. All right, so he's, 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 he's thanking God for them, and we should also thank God for one another. Amen? Give God praise for your brother and your sister. Amen? And, and, and thank God for the grace of God, which is given uh, by Christ. That grace represents salvation. That grace represents deliverance. Uh, anybody with the oil on their life or the grace of God on their life, they, they've been delivered, uh, set free, uh, set apart to serve Him. Amen? And that's an honorable thing, isn't it? Uh, I'm glad to be in the body of Christ. I'm glad uh, to have the name of Jesus. Amen? I'm glad, hallelujah, just to be in communion and fellowship with you all. Amen? Uh, sometimes I don't want to leave you. Uh, so I don't want to let you go. Hallelujah, because I'm in love with you. Huh? Uh, we should be in love with one another. Am I right? Hallelujah. And have the love of Christ. And have the love of God. Uh, which passes all understanding. Amen. Hallelujah. So, so Paul is, 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 is giving God thanks. He said, I thank God always on your behalf for the grace of God which is given you by Christ. We ought to thank God for each other's salvation. Amen. Uh, uh, you all ought to thank God for my salvation. You all ought to thank God for each other's salvation. Amen? Uh, ain't that the whole goal? Uh, I mean, I, my goal uh, is I want to see you saved. Uh, your goal is to want to see me saved. Am I right? Our goal is to want to see each other saved. Uh, come hell or high water, I want you to be saved. Uh, and, and, I, and, and I want to be saved. <laughs> Am I right? Uh, so we ought to thank God that, that when somebody comes into the family, uh, somebody's born again, we ought to worship and, and praise God. And we should not uh, be stumbling blocks or hindrances to those that want to get in. 
Amen? Uh, I was that way one time when I, uh, the Lord told me to witness to uh, one of my uh, friends now. I said, uh-uh, Lord, he ain't, he ain't, he, he, he don't look like he, uh, uh, Christ material. Uh, that's, that's the wrong way of thinking. I was, I was, I was my first month into to the body. Amen? So, you know, I was thinking like a baby. <laughs> uh, but, but he's the one that died. Uh, I didn't die. Am I right? It, it's, it's in him we live. It's in him we move. Huh? I mean, it's in him we have our being. And you know what? I'm laughing right now because the Lord just dropped in my mind. He said, now you can't pick and choose your family. Amen. You can't pick and choose your family. Am I right? Uh, you can't pick and choose who, who's being born in your family. You get what you got. You got what you get. <laughs> Am I right? Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. So, 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 so God, uh, we ought to give thanks always uh, 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 for the grace of God, the salvation uh, that is on the life of an individual. Uh, we should rejoice uh, to when we greet and see our brothers and sisters in Christ. Now, I'm not just talking about denomination. I'm talking about in the body of Christ. Amen? Hallelujah. Believers. Am I right? Hallelujah. All right, we in 1 Corinthians chapter number 4, verse uh, chapter number, I mean, I'm sorry, 1 Corinthians chapter number 1, and now we're moving into verse number 5. 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 5. All right, read. That in everything ye are enriched by him. Uh huh. In all utterance. Yeah. And in all knowledge. Now, now, I forgot to tell you that this, this is Thanksgiving here. It's kind of like a prayer that Paul is putting out for the saints. Uh, we ought to be happy for one another uh, and, and be excited uh, for one another. Am I right? So, so his prayer is, uh, uh, I thank God always on your behalf for the grace that is in you, that in everything, now notice he's praying, uh, that in everything I want you to be in rich uh, by him. That's, a, that's how we should pray for one another. Uh, I want you to be enriched uh, by Jesus Christ. I want you to be helped by Jesus Christ. Am I right? Uh, sometimes, you know, a lot of times we may pray for this and that. We may pray for ourselves. But we ought to, as times, go in for our brothers and our sisters. Uh, say, Lord, bless her, bless him. Uh, call their name out uh, and use this kind of language. Be enriched. Be empowered. Let the grace uh, rest on them and, and, and continue to build them up. Uh, uh, are we all got to pray like that? Uh, you know, sometimes I know when people are praying for me like that because I feel it. Have you ever felt people praying for you? Uh, all of you. I, I, I've literally felt people praying for me. Thank you, Lord. Have you ever felt that way? Huh? Hallelujah. Y'all ain't never felt people praying for you? Huh? Felt that had an anointing come upon you, and that anointing revealed somebody's calling out. Huh? Hallelujah. Somebody is making intercession. Huh? Hallelujah for me. Hey, that's a good feeling. Hallelujah. And we ought to always pray one for another. Thank you, Lord, that 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 they will overcome things that they will be enriched by him, that they would be filled with the knowledge of him, uh, that they will overcome every obstacle and situation and condition, hallelujah, that, 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 that is adversely affecting uh, uh, one another. Am I right? Uh, there's a reason for that. Hallelujah, there's a reason for that. And one of the reasons for that is so that, so that my brother and sister can effectively work in the body of Christ. Uh, uh, now, now uh, I don't want to get, uh, get ahead of myself, but, but, you know, every joint supplies strength one to another. Uh, we supply strength one to another. When I'm praying for you that way, it's like I'm praying for a part of my body. Uh, uh, to work and function and operate hallelujah as it ought to amen hallelujah my God when in my hand uh, got hurt I'd be concerned about 
Uh, and I would, I would rub on it. Uh, I would just go to a doctor if necessary to see about it. Uh, I, would, I would treat it tender. Uh, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't let nobody touch it. Uh, leave it. Leave it alone. Uh, uh, that's how we ought to feel about our brothers and sisters. Uh, don't talk about my brother and sister. Uh, don't do them no harm. Uh, you follow me? Uh, we, we ought to feel that same way uh, that we feel about our hand or our body part as we feel about one another. Hallelujah. Y'all with me tonight? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. All right. What verse we in? Six. All right. Since he's praying, he's praying a prayer. Read. Even as the testimony of Christ was confirmed in you. Uh-huh. Read. So that you come behind and know him. Yes. Waiting for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. <laughs> See, now I told you there was a method or reason for his prayer. Uh, the method and the reason for his prayer in 1 Corinthians uh, chapter number 1 and verse uh, uh, number 7. Uh, read that again. 1 Corinthians chapter number 1, verse number 7. So that you come behind and know him. Now notice, he said, so that you come behind in what? No gift. No gift. Amen. I, I, I need your gifts. Uh, you need my gifts. We need one another's gifts. Don't. Uh, I wish, I wish we could all come to the full knowledge of, 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 of the value of our gifts. Amen. Esau didn't fully value the weight of his birthright. Uh, and then he, he sold it for a bowl of soup. Uh, but, but Jacob, uh, his brother, he valued, huh? he, he understood the value of that birthright. Amen? Uh, and, and, and I'm not advocating that anybody steal somebody's birthright, but, but I just wanted to show you uh, that, that there was a difference. Uh, and then because uh, uh, Jay, uh, Esau didn't value his gift or his birthright, God hated him in the womb. Huh? Hated him in the womb. Am I right? Hallelujah. And if we, if we truly value, now notice what I'm saying. Not, not your own gift, but value one another's gift. Oh, that's a novel approach. Huh? That I value what you have. Huh? I honor what, what God has given you. Whoo! Hallelujah. Right Thank you. That's what that would be. <laughs> it would be hallelujah. Huh? Huh? I, I, I see you as, as sanctified. I see you as set apart. Uh, I see you as gifted by God, and I value what God has given you. Uh, because your gift is necessary for me. Your gift is necessary for you. Am I right? And for all others you come in contact with, the whole body. Am I right? When, when I... Uh, I had some dental issues, and uh, I had to go to the dentist, and uh, a man took me right in, and he got to working on me, right? And I, as I sat there, I was sitting there, literally in that chair, just thanking God huh, for his gift. Huh? And I mean that. Huh? I said, man, I wish I had enough money, I'd buy you a house. I told him that I felt that way because huh? because he did a work on me huh? and I value his 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 gift huh? truly the man is gifted huh? uh, and I and I appreciated his gift and 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 when I was in need he utilized his gift upon me huh? uh, y'all going somewhere y'all see where I'm going. Uh, uh, if we value one another's gift, yeah. if we pray for one another's gift, 
so that when we are in need, uh, hallelujah, our brother, our sister can use their gift upon us to help us, hallelujah, and to be better. Uh, he made me better. Uh, hallelujah. Y'all with me tonight? Hallelujah. We should utilize and operate in our gifts to make one another better. Uh, I wasn't jealous uh, of his gift. I needed his gift. Uh, I, I, and I paid for his gift too. He charged me. Uh, hallelujah. But, but, but it was worth it. Uh, I, I was willingly paying for it. Hallelujah. Because it, it, I, it served as a value unto me. Uh, God has given each and every one of us gifts. Hallelujah. Uh, that we should value. That we should pray one for another. That our gifts be. What, how do you put it? That our gifts uh, uh, become uh, behind in no gift. Uh, 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 Elder? I was going to say, you said uh, you paid him for it. Yes. People will pay you for your gift if they like the way you talk. Come on here. People will pay you for your gift if you can prophesy. Yes. People will pay you for your gift if you can pray for them and they get healed. Yes. People will pray for you. They'll love you. They'll value you. Yes. That gift in you. Amen. And the scripture she's literally quoting is that your gift will make room for you. Amen? Hallelujah. Uh, you know, uh, uh, if you're gifted, uh, you ain't got to push your way to the head of the line. Uh, just, just, let, just let your gift make room for you. Hallelujah. My God. My God. Y'all with me tonight? Hallelujah. So, so Paul said he's praying. And this is what we ought to do. We ought to pray earnestly. For one another's gift. Amen? That, that, that you come behind and no gift. Read. Verse 7. Uh -huh. So that you come behind and no gift. Yes. Waiting for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Now notice, still waiting for the coming of our who? Of who we're waiting on? Jesus. Coming, waiting for the coming of the Lord. Now notice, what's going to help you in your way? The gift. That somebody else has. Huh? That's going to help you. Huh? In your way. The gifts that you have. Is going to help me. The gifts that I have. Is going to help you. The gifts that we all have. Are going to help each other. In our way. Am I right? I need what you have. Huh? Huh? God says. He has put us in a body. Huh? As it has pleased him. Amen. Uh, that I quoted it earlier, that every joint supply of strength. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. I need what you have. Yeah. Uh, you need what I have. And we need what, what each other has. Amen? Amen? Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. All right, read. Where we at? Hey, Lord. Uh -huh. Who shall also confirm you unto the end? Uh huh. Talking about Jesus Christ. He's going to confirm you unto the end. Read. That you may be blameless in the day of our Lord Jesus Christ. Yes. Read. God is faithful. Now who is faithful? God. God is faithful. Read. By whom you were called uh -huh. unto the fellowship of the Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Now, Paul says God is what? Faithful. faithful. Amen. Do we believe God is faithful? Yes. Yeah. Uh, that he doesn't make a mistake? Amen. No. So he's the one that calls you. Am I right? Amen. So he's the one that justified you. Am I right? He's the one that gifted you. Am I right? He's the one that anointed you. Uh, am I right? He's the one that's going to keep you. Am I right? Uh, he's the one that assigns you. Am I right? Hallelujah. Uh, and, and, and he every morning gives you a brand new mercy. Hallelujah. Uh, and that's the reason why we're not consumed. Because great is. Uh, his faithfulness. Uh, God is faithful. Am I right? Hallelujah. Now notice what he said. God is faithful by whom ye were called, notice, into a fellowship. Uh, hallelujah. You know, you're called into a fellowship. Hallelujah. What, what does the word fellowship mean? Recognizing on the same level. I like that. I like that, especially that word she used, fraternizing. Uh, that word 
fraternizing comes from a word that means frat, which means what comes from a word that means brotherhood. Huh? Hallelujah. We are a, 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 a brotherhood. Amen. Hallelujah. And 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 I like what she said. Fraternizing on the same level, meaning that we have intercourse with one another on the same level. We interact with one another on the same level. With God, there's no big eyes, there's no little U's, uh, and every gift, uh, whether it, 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 we in our own eyes don't look at it as, as big and major, God looks at it as big and major. Am I right? Uh, and he has no respecter of person. Hallelujah. Um, beautiful. I'm liking that. Hallelujah. Um, God, God is awesome. Am I right? Now, now, this is the vision, or this is how we should see one another. Amen? Uh, Y'all understand what I'm saying? Uh, what I'm describing is how we ought to view and see one another. That you are valuable to me. Huh? And I'm valuable to you. Huh? That I have worth. That I have purpose. Am I right? You, we ought to see others uh, uh, that are in the body of Christ as having worth and having purpose. Am I, am I right? Because we are a brotherhood. Huh? And God who is faithful. He's the one that has put us into this. Uh, we can't choose our family members. Huh? Huh? They're pre-selected by God. Huh? We can't choose who comes in or out of the body of Christ. You have been pre-selected by God. Am I right? Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Uh, Paul put it this way. He said, he said, uh, if there be, let's go there, hold on to that. Let's go over there real quick. Uh, 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 hold that. Uh, 1 Corinthians 1 and 9. Let's go over. My God, my God, my God. Philippians chapter number 1. I'm sorry. Uh, Philippians chapter number 2. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, you got it? All right. All right. Uh, Philippians chapter number 2. All right. Perfect. Read. Verse 1. Yes. If there be, therefore, any consolation in Christ, uh -huh. if any comfort of love. Now notice, he's talking about the body. When he says in Christ, he's talking about the body. Amen? Talking about us. Read. Any comfort of love. Uh-huh. If any fellowship of the Spirit. Yeah, notice that word again. Fellowship of the Spirit. And that's what we should have in the body of Christ. That's what should we should have here at Christian Ministries of the Apostolic Faith Church. Amen? Read. If any bowels of mercy. No. We ought to have bowels of mercy. What's that word bowels of mercy mean? It's bowels and mercy. Yeah, bowels and mercy. What's that mean? Because they both go together. What's he talking about? Bowels. When you think about your bowels, what do you think talking about? We, maybe we don't know. Well, when he's saying bowels and mercies, he's talking about, he's talking about, uh, let me get there. Well, the bowels is like what gets rid of all the bad stuff in your body. <laughs> That's true, too. What verse is? Uh, one. Okay. Bowels and mercies. If you're in bowels and mercies, he's talking about a literally a, a deep, Kind of love, huh? Not, 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 not a superficial kind of love. Uh, he's talking about that which is deep, huh? That which is in you, huh? Huh? Hallelujah! Thank you. That's that's in your innards. It's in your innards. Uh, your, your in, innermost. I like that. Innermost uh, mercies. Innermost love. Not superficial. Not, not, not. It's that love that we read often that's in 1 Corinthians chapter 13. Amen. That kind of love. Amen. Read. Fulfill me my joy. Uh huh. That ye be like mine. Yes. Having the same love. Uh huh. Being of one accord. Yes. Of one mind. 
Now that's unity. Uh, that's what we ought to have one for another. This kind of love. Amen? This kind of fellowship. Uh, hallelujah. Notice what he said. Fulfill ye my joy. What's going to make me happy? That ye be what? Like mine. Amen? Uh, hallelujah. Showing comfort of love. Fellowship of the Spirit. In, uh, uh, and, and bowels and mercies. Deep, deep. Amen? You should love yourself deeply. You, we should love one another deeply. Amen? God so loved the world that he gave deeply. Amen? Paid the ultimate sacrifice. Am I right? Huh? Hallelujah. Thank you. All right, read. Let nothing be done through strife or vain glory. Uh huh. But in lowliness of the mind, let each esteem other better than themselves. Now, don't don't utilize your gift that God has given to you in any vain glory. Amen. Uh, don't don't try to take advantage of your brother or your sister. Prefer one another. Am I right? Want to help one another. You follow me? I, I esteem you high. I respect you. Huh? When I see you, I don't just call you out your name. Huh? I say brother or sister. I call you by your title. Uh, out of respect. Now, don't get me wrong. Uh, if we're in a, 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 not a public setting, and we're just one to one, and I call you uh, uh, by your first name. That's not a sign of disrespect. You follow me? Huh? But 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 if 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 I'm addressing you in any kind of way that 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 is that is meaningful, that is that is public. You follow me? Huh? I, I I honor you. Huh? My life honors you. Your life should honor me. As, as our life honors Christ. Amen? Amen? Hallelujah. We're teaching up in here tonight. Uh, I, should, I should honor my wife. Amen? I should honor my mother and my father. Am I right? Uh, and and, and, and whether, we, whether we believe it or not, I should honor my children. Huh? Uh, I should not disrespect them just because they're my children. Uh, that's, that's, that's dishonorable. Uh, God doesn't treat his children like that. God doesn't treat you like that. Am I right? Uh, I should honor strangers. Uh, whereby some have entertained angels on the way. Am I right? Hallelujah. You, you, I'm going to go as far as this. You should honor even your enemies. Uh, those that do you wrong, mistreat you, uh, uh, abuse you. Because why? Because God is good to the just and the unjust. Uh, ought not you to be the same? Good to the just and the unjust? Uh, um, come on here, somebody. You, you got grace upon your life. You got the anointing upon your life. Uh, um, you, can, you can do this. You can, as that song says, walk this way. Uh, you can do it. Uh, why? Because the grace of God has appeared unto you, uh, which is Jesus Christ. And he taught us uh, that we should deny what ungodliness and worldly lust and live what? Soberly. I'm talking about soberly now. Uh, and righteously uh, doing what God calls right down here in this present world. Uh, you can attain unto it. Am I right? Um, we are reading. Oh, glory. Where we at? Uh-huh. Look not every man on his own thing. Now, we're talking about your gifts. Huh? I can't just look at, uh, uh, pray for myself. <laughs> oh, God. I feel the Holy Ghost up in here. You just can't pray for yourself. Huh? Um, don't be selfish. Am I right? Huh? Don't just look on uh, uh, you praying, you interceding for yourself 
and your family. Uh, the three people you love, me, myself, and I. <laughs> uh, no, pray. Pray for others. Huh? And then when you're praying for others, don't let it be frivolous. Huh? Yeah, I want y'all to get a car. Yeah, I want y'all to get a house. Yeah, I even want you to get healing in your body. Huh? But, but, but what matters most huh, is that you operate in the gift huh, that God has given you. Huh, that you excel and exceed in anointing and righteousness and holiness. Am I right? Hallelujah. Doesn't that matter? Huh, that should be number one. That, that you be like him. Huh, be like Jesus. I should be praying for that. Uh, and desiring that in your life. Am I right? Oh, uh, let me hear you. What's that? Look not every man on his own way, uh -huh. but every man also on the things of others. Now that's true. Am I right? Oh, uh, I read. Let this mind be in you, uh -huh. which was also in Christ Jesus. Now, the mind that he just described is the same mind that is in Jesus. And don't we pray for the mind of Christ? This is literally what we're praying for. Huh? So when it shows up, you got to let it happen. When there's opportunity, oh God, I feel the Holy Ghost up in here. When there's opportunity to show love, let, let it happen. When there's opportunity to show compassion, let it happen. When it's an opportunity to show mercy, let it happen. When it's an opportunity to bring forth a sacrifice, when you have to sacrifice for your brother or sister, let it happen. Huh? When you got to pray for your brother or sister, let it happen. Amen? When you got to love your enemy, huh? do good to them that hate you, huh? and those that uh, 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 persecute you, and cast your name out as evil, he said rejoice and do what? Let it happen. Am I right? Let that mind be in you. Huh? And I'm going to say this. Jesus, he was offended at those, at those false preachers and teachers. Huh? And, and he confronted them huh? for their behavior. He was fulfilling the scripture that says if your brother, if you have aught with your brother or sister, go to them. Huh? Jesus went to them. Huh? And he told them. You follow me? Huh? And, and he didn't tell them to further divide them. He told them to bring about unity. Huh? And, and Nicodemus, he heard what Jesus was saying. He heard him being a Pharisee. He heard and saw what Jesus was doing. And he was converted. Huh? Hallelujah. Y'all with me tonight? Uh, Y'all love me? <laughs> All right, let's go back over to, 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 to Corinthians. So you got to allow this mind to be in you. That means you got to let it happen. All right, read verse 9. God is faithful. Now, God is faithful. Above all else, God is faithful. Read. By whom you were called unto the fellowship of his son, Jesus Christ. Now, you were called unto this fellowship. Amen. What you are in is a fellowship. You are in a brotherhood. Am I right? You are on a team. Huh? Uh, and you are on Team Christ. Huh? Now, the, the, I'm going to talk about two things. Uh, objective and subjective. Objective, it means that which is really going on. Subjective, it means that what I think is going on. Follow me? There's a difference. Objective is the truth. Subjective is how I think and how I feel. 
Follow me? Out of the two, which one should I operate in? Object, the truth. Am I right? Are we right? Now, the objective fact is, is that I'm on a team. Right? The objective fact is that we're on a team, and our team is called Jesus Christ. And being part of that team, if we lose, we all lose. If we win, we all win. Am I right? Now, I was, I was on a, a, a football team uh, growing up. It was a little gritters at the time. Basic football team. And I, 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 I often think back to a particular play. We were on the Bengals. And that, that's, 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 that's the name of the team that we were on. And there was a guy on the team, he wanted to be the superstar. And uh, he got all the accolades. And uh, uh, he scored all the points. Right? You with me? With me so far? Yeah. All right. So, so we were both playing defense on this particular day. And uh, I picked up the fumble. And uh, uh, one of the guys on the other team, they grabbed me. And uh, the, the guy who uh, liked all the accolades and the guy that, 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 that received all the hype, he was beside me, you know, all right, about, about right here where this microphone is. Huh? And, and, and the goal line was a straight shot. All I needed to do was just throw the ball to him. Huh? So that, so that he could run down the field and make a touchdown. Huh? But I was hindered by my subjective feelings. I felt some type of way that, that, that he was the superstar. I felt some type of way that he got all the accolades. I felt some type of way that he uh, 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 just scored all the points. So instead of throwing the ball to him, I just fell down with him. It was intentional. Huh? I'm 12 years old. That thing still haunts me. <laughs> I wish I would just threw him the ball. Huh? The common goal for each of us was to win. I hindered the, uh, 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 the win by not doing my part. You follow? Subsequently, we did win the game. But, but that act there, it showed something within me. My problem. My issue. My hindrance. You follow me? And, and, but we were supposed to be a team. I didn't act like a teammate. I was selfish. Huh? I was selfish. Am I right? I was hateful. Huh? Oh my God, now the Holy Ghost working on me. I was jealous. <laughs> oh God. Now, now we have those types of feelings and emotions in the body of Christ. Huh? But we have to, uh, uh, what do we have to do? We have to control that. Get rid of that. Let love continue. Let faith continue. Huh? Realize that uh, I don't agree how my, my friend, uh, uh, I don't, my God, see, this is painful for me. I don't, I don't agree how he was getting all the accolades and, 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 and you know, getting all the touchdowns. You know what I'm saying? But, but, but I got to set that aside for the win. Oh, God. Oh. Oh, yes. Oh, God. See, you should know 
the truth. <laughs> he was. He was bad. Huh? I got to accept myself. Accept my gifts. Amen? Accept who I am. Am I right? That's who we are. We're part of the body. Huh? The objective, whoo, he just said the objective truth. And in that area, he was better than I. Huh? And I had an opportunity to help him. Right? When I had the opportunity to help him to even be better, <laughs> I, I, I fell on the ball. Huh? I said, nope, not here today. <laughs> That's selfish. I see why God lets me, re reminds me of that lesson. Huh? You got any lessons? I need to tell on yourself now. Like that. I ain't told on myself. <laughs> but, but we are a team. Huh? We ought to be working together. And though uh, 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 there's an opportunity where one might shine, help that individual to shine. Huh? Am I right? Amen. Now, I'm going to say this in this respect. Um, God put me in a position to pick up that ball, to be there to catch that fumble. Huh? To help him. God puts us in position to be helpers one another. Woo! My God, I feel like shouting. Huh? We, we, he positions us. Huh? My brother, Robert? I'm looking up steering the spirit of the God has put within us so we can flow like rivers of water. Yes. And I believe that if we're in a situation like that, if we've got that spirit stirred up inside of us, we're going to make the right decision. Yes. Because we're listening to the Holy Spirit. Yes. He's the ultimate coach. Yes. He's right there in our ears. Yes. He's telling us to do the right thing. Hallelujah. Bob, that, fit in there good, didn't that you? really did. That really did. Because, because that's what came to my mind. Throw him the ball. Uh, that was the coach, the Holy Spirit. I'm just paraphrasing. Uh, telling me what to do. Uh, and I was contrary. <laughs> you hadn't stirred up your spirit yet. Oh my God. I had the wrong spirit. <laughs> You're right, Bob. Go ahead. And in turn, you would have been helping yourself too. Yes! You would have helped yourself because had you not won, Ooh. you know, you would have been the cause of you off the team losing. Absolutely. So you would have failed. Wow. You would have failed. So wow. when, you helping, when you're helping somebody else, you're really helping yourself because you're gaining victory. Gaining. Wow. You know, and God put you in position yep. to help people for a reason. Yes. You know, to, to, to make you. Better, a better person. Yes. If you throw him the ball, you would have been a better person, whether you got the athlete or not. Come on here, somebody. Come on here, somebody. Did y'all hear what she said? Uh, y'all got to catch that on the rewind. I like that. Uh, we would have been, a, I would have been a better person. Uh, am I right? We are better people, better saints, when we help one another. Amen? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Go ahead. Who I like that? The rest of your team would have been saying, "Where you go?" Exactly. Exactly. They would have. Huh? I would probably got picked first instead of getting picked last. <laughs> but y'all understand what I'm saying? The, the word tells us that we're inherently evil. Yeah. We humans are inherently evil, so if we don't steer ourselves up to the word. We're in trouble. We're in trouble. We're going to do all the wrong things. Amen. And and we are here to help each other win. Yeah. Amen. A win for you is a win for me. Because we're all part of the team. 
Huh? A loss for you is a loss for me. Because we're all part of the team. Amen? Which destroys the team is the subject, what we think, instead of operating in what we ought to know and do. Am I right? Uh, our thoughts get in the way. Oh, okay, go ahead. I didn't see anything. Um, we're not supposed to question the, coach, the Holy Spirit. Right. Because when we question him, we're going to be in big trouble. Big trouble. Because he knows so much more than we do. He knows the outcome we don't. Right. He's the leader. He's the guy. He knows the beginning from the end. Wow. This is better than I thought. <laughs> oh, hallelujah. See? Self-exposure. Hallelujah. Just, just because you plant a seed, don't get upset if you don't get the harvest because the harvest belongs to the harvesters. <laughs> I like that. Hallelujah. You might be the harvester of someone else's seed. Yeah. That's scripture. Be prepared. That's scripture. One planet, one water, and another reaper. All right, let's move on. What verse are we in? Yeah. All right, we we in First Corinthians chapter number one, verse number ten. Here we go. Now I beseech you, brethren, by the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that ye all speak the same thing, uh -huh. and there be that, and that there be no divisions among you, mm -hmm. but that ye be perfectly joined together in the same mind and in the same judgment. All right, now. So, so in keeping with that line of, of we're on the same team, uh, and that's, that's the objective thought. The subjective thought that comes to mind would be the division. Division is subjective, meaning it's what I think. And what I think as opposed to operating in the truth. Huh? Causes problems. You follow me? So, so read that verse again. Now I beseech you, brethren, by the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that ye all speak the same thing. Now, now in order to keep, now we're going to talk about unity, because you've got to talk about unity before you talk about division. Unity is all speaking the same thing, the truth. Right? Now, when you're trying to attain unity, is that doesn't mean that we all uh, uh, agree on everything, but we agree as a team. Because uh, uh, we're in the body of Christ. So therefore, we should ought to agree on truth. Am I right? Hallelujah. Yeah. Uh, because we're workers together. Amen? Hallelujah. Uh, so, so he said, uh, Now I beseech you, brethren, by the name of Jesus Christ, that you all speak the truth. The same thing. Read. And that there be no divisions among you. Now, uh, go with me to uh, St. John, chapter 17. This, this, this scripture blew my mind. When, when I read it, and it puts great emphasis on unity in the body of Christ and the truth. Uh, St. John chapter 17, verses 20 through 23. This is our Lord, Jesus. Neither pray I for these alone, uh -huh. but for them also which shall believe all right. That they all may be one. Uh huh. As thou, Father, art in me, and I in thee. Uh huh. That they also may be one in us. Mm -hmm. That the world may believe that thou hast sent me. Mm. And the glory which thou gavest me, I have given them. Yeah. That they may be one, even as we are one. Yeah. I in them, and thou in me. Yeah. That they may be. That they may be made perfect. And that the world may know that thou hast sent me and hast loved them as thou hast loved me. That's Jesus praying for unity for his church. 
He's praying for him. Huh? Right before his death, he's praying for unity for his church. Some say that this is a lost prayer. Some say that because there's division in the church. I'm talking about in the physical. I ain't talking about the spiritual. Jesus is praying for unity. Ought we not to pray and agonize for unity? And, and go a step further. Fight for it. Want to see it happen. If Christ took out time to pray for it right before his death, because here he's about to go to the cross. Uh, he's about to go to the cross. And yet, he's praying for his team. He's praying for unity. So that the world may know that he's the world champion. Uh-huh. Even, even in the book of Psalms, where it says how good, how good pleasant it is for the brothers and the world together in you. Yeah. It's a good thing. It's a good thing. And when it says behold like that, he's talking about how rare it is. It's precious. Huh? It's precious for us to stick together. To love one another. Pray for each other's gifts. Huh? Uh, Want to see each other succeed, win. Huh? And then, and then uh, realize that God has put me in a position to help you. <laughs> I'm getting excited. Uh, go ahead. I was thinking about what you said about the football. Uh -huh. And you didn't realize that had you passed that ball, uh -huh. then you would have got some shot. Yes! Because everybody would have been saying, man, that's a great pass, man. Yep. And you did that. <laughs> Absolutely. But you refused to do that. Refused to do it. Fell on my own sword. Ain't that something? When we refuse to do it, uh, it messes with us. But God also knew you needed that story for today. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> you used your mistakes for a testimony today. Amen. Thank you, Bob. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> There's victory in Jesus. All things work together for good. <laughs> Hey, man. For a child then, you put away a child. Come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. I like it. You my friend. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're all with you. Right? Yeah. And you know what? Since I said that, I feel better. I exposed it. I feel better. <laughs> my healing can take place. <laughs> You're healed in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. Amen. Amen. That's true. Amen. And, and read that again with Christ praying. We should mark that down. And that should allow that to be our prayer. Neither pray I for these alone. Uh -huh. Now notice what he said. I'm not praying for my disciples, my apostles alone. But for them also which shall believe on me through their word. Now don't we believe on the apostles, uh, the doctrine of Christ through their word? Amen. Read. So he's talking about us. Read. That they all may be one. Uh -huh. Now notice, he wants all of us to be one on the same team. Read. As thou, Father, art in me, uh -huh. and I in thee. As he is one uh, with the Father, he wants us to be one with the Father. Read. That they also may be one in us. Uh -huh. That the world may believe now notice then, when we get together in unity, it, it's a testimony to the world. Huh? And Jesus, and it's a promotion of Jesus. And he said, if I be lifted up, I'll draw all men. When, when I'm operating in my gift, huh? notice, notice the context. If I'm operating in my gift, and I'm helping you, I'm promoting Christ. Amen. Amen. 
Am I right? Yeah. Hallelujah. I'm causing the team to be. Read it. And the glory which thou gavest me, I have given them. Now, he has literally helped us. He has put his glory upon us. He has put his anointing upon us. Amen? To get this job done. Amen. Read. And the glory which thou gavest me, I have given them, mm -hmm. that they may be one, uh -huh. even as we are one. My God. We ought, to be, we ought to be one to be one, to be unity, be on the same team. All right? That's good enough. All right? Let's go back. Yes. Ah, uh, yes. No, let's go uh, read 10 again. Now I beseech you, brethren, uh -huh. by the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, yes. that ye all speak the same thing. Now to have unity, you got to speak the same thing. Be objective. Same truth. Read. And that there be no divisions among you. Uh, that there be no divisions among you. None. No divisions. What's the word division mean? Divide, double minded, die vision, two visions. I got my vision, and the Lord has his vision. I follow after my vision. When you have a double vision, you don't see correctly, correct, right? All right? So notice what he says there be no divisions among you. Read. But that you be perfectly joined together. That's oneness. Perfectly joined together. That's oneness. Every, I'm going to say this. Every believer is one with Christ. Whether you believe it or not, you're one with Christ. Amen. Amen. And therefore being one with Christ, we ought to be one with one another. Ooh, Holy Ghost said, you didn't say that strong enough. If I'm one with Christ, I'm one with my brother and sister. Not ought to be, I am. Huh? Like I'm one with my body. Like you're one with your body. Amen? You don't deny your eyes. You don't deny your hands. You don't deny your feet. Am I right? They were part of you. And you're concerned about your hands. You're concerned about your feet. Huh? You're concerned about your eyes. Am I right? And you don't want your eyes to act like your feet. Huh? I don't, I don't, I don't want you out of place. I don't want to be out of place. Am I right? I want to utilize the gift that God has given me. I want you to utilize the gift that God has given you. Hallelujah. Can I say something? If, if, if Mother Davis came up here and preached the church down and, and 35,000 souls got saved, you think I'm going to be jealous? No. no, I'm going to run up to her and hug her <laughs> huh? and say thank you. Huh? If Minister Crosby came up here and taught a dynamic Bible class and enlightened everybody, you think I'm, I'm going to be upset and angry and jealous? No. Hmm? Y'all know I want to see. Huh? Y'all know that. <laughs> huh? And, and when I'm, when you know what? I'm going to be honest with you. When people up here singing, they singing real good. I just be fantasizing, that's me singing. <laughs> huh? They hit notes, I'm like, yeah! You know what I'm saying? Uh, worship it, go! Uh, I'm singing with Absolutely. And you know, one day he did that. I don't know if y'all remember. We was over in Brother Heaven. And I, and I sang a note. Huh? Like, uh, falling in love with Jesus. Huh? I hit that note. 
Uh, and that thing scared me to death. Uh, I was busy. I said, oh, let me, let me, let me get through this, Lord. Uh, y'all remember that? Y'all don't remember that? Oh, man, y'all should remember that. Ooh, I remember that. I hit the note. Huh? And, and uh, 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 what's his name? Uh, Joe Smith. Uh, Joe Nathan, uh, brother Joe Smith. He came up to me and said, now that's how you should sing, Pastor. <laughs> uh, my God, my God. And that was the only time I did it. Uh, tried it again, didn't happen. God was in the midst. He, he answered my prayer. He let me sing. Do you have a recording of that? Uh, nope. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. God is good. Huh? I said, God is good. All the time. All the time. God is good. God is good. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to see you shine. I want to see you grow. I want to see you operate in the body of Christ. Amen? Amen. That come on, shine. Would you like some football here? Oh, what? Well, I'm not no humor right now. Oh, oh, you say that. Save it? Yes, yeah, save it. All right, thank you. <laughs> All right, where we at? Uh, verse, uh, 11, verse, verse 10, I think. Uh, the last part. Uh huh. But that you be perfectly joined together uh -huh. in the same mind and in the same judgment. Now that's truth. That's being objective. Let, let the word of God be our truth. Not what I think, not what my opinion is. Agree. To disagree, but but not allow the disagreement to separate me or to separate uh, us from His love, one to another. Am I right? That's unity. I love you enough. I'm not going to let whatever uh, comes our way to separate us. It's like, it's like a, uh, 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 uh. my wife and I, we become one. Amen. Sometimes she work my nerve. Sometimes I work her nerve. Huh? Sometimes we work in both each other's nerve. Huh? Am I right? <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Huh? Yeah! Yeah! So, and I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be honest. Can I be honest? Honey, close your ears for a minute. Uh, sometimes I work her nerve intentionally. Uh, not trying to be mean. Yeah, you do. Not trying to be mean. Uh, but just the kind of mood I'm in. Just trying to have fun, right? Exactly. Huh? She don't see it that way. No. And she said, she, she, she give me the buzzword. Come on, Frank. Better go ahead. <laughs> so I, I know that's, I know that's, well, okay, I played that game long enough. Huh? Exactly. No one to hold them, no one to fold them. Huh? Yeah, no one to run. <laughs> huh? But, 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 we stay together. Scripture, it talks about uh, until we all come to the unity, yeah. until we all come to the knowledge. Yeah. 
All right? Paul, he uh, got upset with John Mark. Right? Because John Mark, he was, on the, he was on the field with Paul, and he was timid. Uh, he was young. Huh? And, and Paul looked at him and said, ah, you're not useful for, to me right now. Huh? So, so there was a big contention huh? Huh? wherein they separated. Huh? Paul then went with Silas. Huh? Mark went with uh, uh, Barnabas. Huh? And then after a while, Paul said, oh, man. Huh? He saw the growth in Timothy. Uh, they send Timothy back. He's popular. Uh, unity. Stay together. Uh, we can have disagreements and even contention. Uh, but let's, let's stick together. Amen. Am I right? Amen. Yeah. And that's the reason why we got the fruit of the Spirit. That's the reason why we got the fruit of the Spirit. Huh? That's the reason why we got that. Huh? To help us. Amen? To strengthen us. To give us what we need. Huh? Hallelujah. Am I right? We ought to be alert in church. Huh? Awake. Huh? Am I right? Hallelujah. That's what I'm saying. Thank you, Jesus. All right. So, so where we at? Go ahead. When in unity, in respect to somebody's authority, what's the difference? In unity, in respect to someone's authority, how did well, I that, that works hand in hand. Um, <clears throat> if, if I'm going to be in unity with you, I got to respect you. I got to respect what God has given you. Amen? And honor you, notice, as I would honor God. That's deep. Mm -hmm. Huh? Honor you as I would honor God. Amen. Because when I do honor you, I'm honoring God. Amen. Whatever you do, I'm going to one of these. Come on here. If I say I hate you, huh? I I'm saying I hate God. Because you were created in the image and the likeness of God. Amen. Am I right? Amen. And how can I say I love my brother? Huh? And I mean, how can I say I love God and hate my brother? Can't. Can't do it. Am I right? Hallelujah. All right, let's move on. Jesus. Uh huh. For it hath been declared unto me of you, my brother, by them which are at the house of Chloe. Uh -huh. That there are contentions among you. Now, now, what this word division here, in literally in the scripture, means that they were operating in sects in the church. They had groups in the church, the cliques. There you go. That's the word in the church. God does not want you to have cliques or groups in the church. We all one body. Amen? One Lord, one faith, one baptism. One for all, in all, and through all. Huh? Am I right? Hallelujah. All for one, one for all. Am I right? If I had 20 plates here, and it was 19 of you, uh, it was 21 of you, uh, we all shouldn't eat because we all couldn't have one. <laughs> All right, read. Well, uh -huh. now this I say that every one of you said, I am a Paul, uh -huh. and I am of a Paul, uh -huh. and I am Cephas, and I am Christ. Yeah. Is Christ divided? Now, he asked the question Is Christ divided? Division in the body of Christ is a, a work of the flesh. Unity in the body of Christ is spiritual. Can we agree with that? Go over to the book of uh, Galatians. I'm going to let you go. Galatians chapter number 5 in verse 19. Uh, 
Galatians chapter number 5, verse 19, read down to 21. Now the works of the flesh are manifest. Now listen, now the works of the flesh are made known. Read. Which are these. Uh-huh. Adultery. Adultery. Fornication. Fornication. Uncleanness. Uncleanness. Lasciviousness. Lasciviousness. Idolatry. Idolatry. Witchcraft. Witchcraft. Hatred. Hatred. Variance. Variance. Emulations. Emulations. Wrath. Wrath. Strife. Strife. Seditions. Seditions. Heresies. Heresies. Envy. Envy. Murders. Murders. Drunkenness. Drunkenness. Revelings. Revelings. And such like. And such like. Of Re which I tell you before, uh -huh. as I have also told you in time past, uh -huh. that they which do these things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Now, seducing one another is a form of division. If I'm trying to pull someone away from Christ, that's a form of division. If I'm trying to seduce you, not do you right, not honor you, I'm operating in the flesh, not in the spirit. Mm. That's beautiful. All right, let's go back. Uh -huh. Was Christ divided? Was Paul crucified for you? Or were you baptized in the name of Paul? Mm -hmm. I thank God that I baptized none of you but Christus and Gaius, lest any should say that I had baptized in my own name. Yes. And I baptized also the household of Sephans. Besides, I know not whether I baptized in the other. All right, here we go. Read. For Christ sent me not to baptize, uh -huh. but to preach the gospel. Yes. Not with wisdom of words, lest the cross of Christ should be of none effect. Now, in our conclusion here tonight, notice, Paul did baptize for right? And he tells you who he baptized. But he realized that that was not my gift. My gift is to do what? To preach. And I thank God Paul preached. Amen. Amen? And, and, and he knew uh, uh, that those brethren that were saying that uh, uh, Paul baptized me, I'm better than you. He's like, yeah, I don't know. Huh? I did that, but that ain't what I'm called to do, and, and there's no division. Huh? God called me to preach. You're not going to puff my head up, huh? make me feel uh, uh, something that I'm not. I'm going to work and keep the unity. Amen? All right. Thank God for you. Thank you, Jesus. All right, Brother Paul, uh, you can uh, give us your letter today. Oh. Uh, one of our star players on the football team 